Go Cloud Communications, helping you to thrive online. Okay, this is going to be a quick little video on how to change the fonts using Elegant Themes Divi theme. It's really a terrific uh, flexible theme and so um, not surprisingly we can be quite flexible with the fonts as well without really ever having to go into using Google fonts or anything like that which of course is another option. So all we do is we come down to the dashboard and we see here there's Divi and we come over to Theme Customizer. We'll click on Theme Customizer and that's going to load up. And now that that has loaded up, uh, we can see a little bit of uh, kind of what the uh, what a page typically looks like. I think this is the home page, and we can come down here to general settings, and then here typography. Click on that, and here we get an option to really the the two places where we're going to be changing the font if we want to are the header font and the body font. If you want the header font to appear in a particular way, we can change it any way we want. And I think, as you can see, what it's going to happen is it'll show you a little bit about uh, the changes. As you change it, you can get a sense of what the different fonts look like. And uh, the same would go for body font as well. If you want to change that to maybe Boogaloo, we'll see that it looks like that. And then, of course, you can change the text size um, the header text size as well. Um, you can also change uh, the general format for the text color and the header uh, color as well. So there's really a lot of flexibility just baked right into Divi. I mean, if we look down at the number of fonts, you know, we can go through, there's probably a good 40 uh, to 50 fonts or something in there. I don't know the exact count, but um, that should hopefully uh, allow someone to find a decent font if there's one there that you don't like again uh, google fonts is another opportunity or option and uh, but that is beyond this particular video hope that helps and for goodness sakes i forgot to mention that once we've chosen our fonts whether it's a header font or a body font or both and we want to actually go ahead and change those fonts on the website itself we do need to come up here to this button that says save and publish click on that once it goes through the process it'll be saved we can go back and um, we can close that down and if we want to take a look um, at the site uh, we'll cover under here right click it's going to open up in a new tab we can see that the fonts have been changed from what they were before again hope that helped Contact GoatCloud today to help you thrive online. Visit GoatCloud.com for more information.